We've got the advanced success four. It's a really nice harness. With a lot of protection. You've got a lot of foam here at the bottom. That's really big, deep foam. There's another block of foam there. There's foam in the back here. I've got my bag in the back there, which is providing a lot of cushioning. So oh, that's pretty much the best all-round protection I've ever seen in a harness. And you've got these side protectors here. There is one of the side protectors. Very hard foam on the inside with some soft foam on the outside. So those protect your hips and the top part of your leg. And if you standing up out of the harness, they'll still be a little bit there. And I like the way that they've done the reserve in that if you throw your reserve, the reserve is at the front of the seat area underneath sort of the back of your legs. So when you throw your reserve, you don't end up with a hole in your harness protection. Practice to get this grip, get the feel of the handle. Once you've got that, it's great. Pins will pull out on either side there. And the nice thing about this is it, it has a zipper opening that goes forward as well as back. So when you pull the reserve out, this whole area opens up. It's never gonna get jammed inside. The whole thing's gonna come out beautifully. Right, so I'm just gonna show you the clips, the legs leg clips again. It's just a very nice little quick buckles. Your little chest strap strap up top and that's it some adjusters on the side everything else looks fairly standard the only thing that i can see slightly differently is that there's a a v webbing that runs through a little slider here which is their balance system on the seat we'll see how that works in practice once we get in the air Um, I felt it was very supportive in the air. It felt like there was definitely firm pressure from all the foam around. The side protectors work in the air as well in that they keep you centered on the seat nicely. They, as you do your weight shift, you're up against the side protector and it's quite comfortable. It's not digging into your um, hip because it's shaped. The foam is amazing. I mean, I can feel the amount of protection I've got behind my back is phenomenal. So if I'm gonna land on my bum or my back or down at a slight angle this is probably the harness I want to be in um, it's very nice flying in the in the non pod harness again I'm used to the pods and it's a it's jolly nice it's a kind of gives you that feeling of kind of dangling your feet in the air which is really special so I quite like it and for ground handling and running around the slope it's great it really just sits nicely on your on your body it doesn't ride up much it rides up a little bit if you stand upright and if you get into the air you've got to do a little jiggle to get back into the seat but it's um you don't need to take your hands out of the brakes or anything it's just very easy to get back into the seat so overall i'd say um it is it is expensive admittedly um, but for that expense you're getting pretty much the top of the range harness that you can get in this class um, the protection is outstanding all the, all the way around. The comfort is really good. I don't see how you could improve the harness comfort wise. Um, it's responsive in the air. It's not too stable. It's uh, a bit more um, responsive in the air than I was expecting. I was expecting to be quite you know, rigid and firm and tight up, but it's not. It's, uh, it's got a lot of freedom of movement to a certain point. You can kind of roll and then if you're rolling too far, then it stops you. So that's nice. The getting in and out into the air is superb. That little balance system works very well. Very comfortable harness. Supreme protection. Um, very easy to launch and get into the air and get back into the harness. Get back out for, launch, for landing. And uh, sure, build quality is top notch. Looks like it's going to last for a very long time.